what is going on everybody today i'm going to be talking a little bit on silky genetics and how that all works and you guys are going to come along with me let's do this all right so first up i'm going to be talking about silky feathers so silkies and a normal chicken feathers right here and right here you can see the difference um a silkies is more fluffy and a normal feather is more like straight and formed together pretty much a silky has everything that a normal feather has except for these little things called barbacils which hold the the feathers together like a zipper it like zips together pretty much and basically they are pretty much just born without that and yeah so pretty much now that you know about silky feathers and all that i'm going to explain to you how to breed to make another chicken have silky feathers let's do this as you can see back here my silky is right there and my black copper moran rooster is there too so Basically, the first thing is a silky and a silky, when they breed, they make a chicken with silky feathers, which is kind of obvious. And if a chicken with normal feathers breeds to a chicken with normal feathers, you get normal feathers. Just wanted to get that out of the way real fast. Okay, now we get to the crazy part. So I'm gonna pop up some Punnett squares, which are about the genetics and all that, and kind of explain to you a little bit. So if you breed a silky to a normal feathered chicken, like my silky to my black copper moron, you will get all of your chicks will be um, normal feathered. Well, let me get a little more in depth. Okay, so Silky's feathered genetics are recessive, which means they are not dominant. So a normal feathered chicken has dominant genes versus a Silky, which has recessive. And pretty much that means that when you breed the two together, all of the chicks will have normal feathers. So to get silky feather, it takes multiple generations. But here's the graph right here. Um, basically, if you breed a normal feather bird to a silky chicken, you get a normal feathered bird. But they have the silky genes inside of them. So it's half silky, half normal feathered, technically. So, um, yeah, that's if you breed it to normal. And then they will make... 100% babies with normal feathers, but they're going to have 50-50 silky and normal feathering it. All right, now let's get to the fun part. So, say you have a, the silky and the black copper moron have a baby. They're all normal feathers. And you get that baby. It ends up being a rooster because I have a hen that's a silky. You breed the baby back to the mom. It sounds really weird, but silkies do not inbreed. So basically, if a mom goes and like the baby breed together, there is no inbreeding with chickens. Maybe after like 10, 12 generations, you can start seeing small signs, but really don't get freaked out about your, your if you have a baby that breeds back to the mom. So basically, let me show you the, the Punnett squares here. This is the box. If you breed the mom and the baby, you will get 75% silky feathers and you will get 25% that will be the silky normal feather mix, which will have normal feathers. So that's how that would happen. And next up, we're gonna talk about if you breed two of the babies together. Basically, if you breed the two babies together, you will have a mix of 25% silky feathers and then 25% normal feather genes, like with no silky in them at all. And then 50% with the silky black, like the silky mix with normal feathers. So it'll have normal feathers. So 75% of those babies will have normal feathers and 25% will have um, the silky feathers. But 50% of them will have the genes where they can turn into a silky at some point. But I'm trying to breed right now to get like a black copper moron silky. So I'm gonna breed the babies together 
because if I breed it back to the mom, there will be way more silky than black copper moron. But if it's 50-50 black copper moron and silky, then it will be like a black copper moron's body with silky feathering, which I think will be awesome. And the egg should get darker slowly. I'm not 100% sure, but it should darken a little bit. So yeah, basically that's it for today. I just wanted to explain silky genetics and all that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that bell, comment down there. Thanks for watching. Bye.